I mean, that's, that's probably why it's called Gran Canaria, right? Because it's just Gran. Gran is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> but what I thought I'd start doing because you're on holiday. It's like, well, we got to sit in it. Put your coat on. <laughs> so, are you going to continue to write this diary? There was John the Screw, right? John the Screw. Yeah. Whether he had sex or not, or he worked in a prison. No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo, saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> and, uh, Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Ricky Gervais Show, Season 1, Episode 7, The Diary. Let's go. Carl's been on holiday again, hasn't he? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because Carl, you you don't do anything. I just came out from holiday. I was in Budapest, Hungary. Had a lovely time. Let's continue. <laughs> and you have weekends off. You take at least five or six weeks holiday a year, even though you haven't got a job now. You're meant to be doing this, and yet you still so go your whole life's a holiday, basically. Yeah, why do you need a holiday to you? You, you potter around. You, 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 your big your big day last week was going to the cobblers. So <laughs> oh, yeah. why do you need a break so much this oh, week? It's, it's just that you know, it's it's good for your brain and that. Isn't it? It's, it's, it opens well, it up a bit. You are not evidence for that. Where did you go? Gran Canaria. For a week? Yeah. Just sitting around? Um, Sorry, I feel like, that's so British, Gran Canary. Oh my God. A, a lot of people goes Tenerife, Benidorm, Gran Canary, uh, Abu Fera, the Algarve. If you're British, there's a good chance you've been there. Well, there isn't much else to do at Gran Canary. I mean, I don't want to go slagging a place off because every time I seem to talk slagging about somewhere, get into trouble for it. Right. But it's just a like a big rock. It's Brilliant. just vol volcanic, isn't it? <laughs> and you must have looked like a, a little barnacle oh on that. God. Have you been there before? Um, been been near it before to another rock, which was just. But what you had your fingers burned? Why did you go back? <laughs> because you think, well, they can't have loads of these islands that are the same, like just a big rock with hotels on. They can't get away with it. So you <laughs> think, well, the next one. They can't with get away with it. it. Why? Why do you keep going to these places that are rocks? Why don't you investigate first? Ask your travel agent. Is this a giant rock? Because because that's what you do, isn't it? You go and find out yourself. I mean, <laughs> when when Armstrong went to the moon, what was he expecting up there? That's a fact. That's like a big rock, and he still went all that way. <laughs> I don't know what the point was. No, so, what, so what I'm saying is, though... What do you make of this place? you enjoy it, Gran Canaria? It was bet, just a big rock, but did you... you, you I bet you... the moon was better. <laughs> really? <laughs> what did Obviously. you do? It was just... Uh, well, um, it was a big hotel, like big, massive places where there's loads of people, and, you know, you go for your dinner. That describes a hotel. Yeah. No, 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 no. You've nailed that. But I've been to a few, that sounds like it. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean, though? There's the sort, there's the nice small ones where mm. it's just enough people, but this is like mental, and and it was all, it was it was full of old people, really. Oh. I mean, that's, that's probably why it's called Grand Canaria, right? Because it's just Grand. Like, Grand is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> but what I thought I'd start doing is uh, a <laughs> Carl Pickington. It's called Grand Canaria because there's old people everywhere. Twenty twenty three, whatever I said it. Oh my, only him would think of that. Oh god, it makes sense though. I love all the people who tend to go to them kind of country. It's relaxing. Good weather and all. So it makes sense. Start a diary. Mm. Okay, why? Just cause I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Mm. Just thought, write it down, write write stuff down. And do you hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys diary? Um I haven't heard of that, is it any good? Is it? You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, the, the most the, famous diary uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's sat in a, you know, a loft, knocking stuff up, <laughs> not much going on in her life at that point, yet sure. she was still writing it down. Yeah, whereas you've been to Great Canary, yeah. I thought, so there is stuff going on that I can chat about. Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary? Yeah. And what are you going to do? You, did, you, did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just... Uh, oh, can I read it, please? Well, a diary is meant to be sort can, of... Uh, please, can I read some out on this podcast? I... Carl... Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of... Oh, running. this is... Please, give me it. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I haven't just... Look how big it is! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh one of those God. desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long. And it's... Ma oh, that is amazing. Imagine if Anne Franks had been like that. As she got out, <laughs> right, uh, everyone would have heard it clank down on the desk. Yeah, but my writing's quite big, isn't it? Oh look, give us oh, that. Do you know? That. Do you know about joined up writing? Have you this heard about is that? No Amazing. Point. Sometimes you can't read it, can you? So it's right, best okay. to. Okay. 
Look oh, at, look at oh, look! The, oh my God! It starts on the first day. This is this is oh. wonderful. Going on holiday to Gran Canaria today. Woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention that would be good. Right, a, a watch that counted down your life. <laughs> If it says you've got three days oh, left, go God. to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Told Suzanne about invention. She said she wouldn't buy one. But she said that about the iPod. How, uh, and how would this device work, this watch? I mean, how would you, uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Have you, is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about, presumably the boffins. And no, all I was thinking is that Tony Banks fella, you know, he died and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had, like, a little watch on... But how did, well, you can't just say, wouldn't it be good? Watch. How how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you're in the patent office going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, uh, Mr. Bogdan, what's your idea? Watch that counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? What? Just, just well, wear it, just pop it on your wrist. No, 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 what do you mean, just pop it on your wrist? How does it work, just pop it on your wrist? Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Gran Canaria was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> uh, no, he's querying his own, his own design. He's wondering yeah. if it would know. Oh, he's God. invented this. He's invented it, and now he's having <laughs> shot. Uh, a fellow on the plane was reading Koi Mag. It was a fishing magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do dedicated entirely to carp, wow. and it had it had Carp of the Month, and I just thought, you know, once you're like three because months in, the editor must be stressing. Have we got any more carp? <laughs> have we got a carp that's actually done anything? That's I reckon if they use the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. No, that, well, that's the carp they used two years ago. <laughs> there was a really fat bloke on the plane. He was playing on his PSP while I waited to go to the toilet. I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, you can't what? even face playing a more active game on a games console. <laughs> that! <laughs> Me and Suzanne got off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> Everywhere's pretty rough, paving and slopey. Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. Day two in Gran Canaria. True. Brilliant, we're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. <laughs> Dov. <laughs> that's oh, enough, isn't it? That's amazing! Well, you may right. as well let me read on a bit more. Okay? No, this is amazing. Well, come back this to is a brilliant now. diary. This might be the best diary ever written. Oh. While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? Mm. Just, just that... Uh, you know, when, I, when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right? Lounger. And I was thinking about stuff. How do you it. know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because, because what I mean is, say, say if I was like, if I saw something, right? Do you know how I say, like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, <laughs> no, but that was I being don't have said. to. But in, I, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought. The thought appears. It's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like um, I go, Rick. What? Just uh, looking at that fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, um, I was thinking it looks a bit weird. Oh, so was I. I don't. I don't think out whole sentences. Whereas you have Carl. 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 Stop listening to the kinks for a minute. Look over there. More. More cross-eyed people. <laughs> no, well that's yeah. That's is that how your mind works? In a way, yeah. <laughs> and that's when it, because because I <laughs> that thought explains a lot. <laughs> it's great that he has to think of that whole sentences. Cos I thought that's weird, isn't it? Right, that's I didn't weird, think isn't it? that's weird, isn't it? And I thought, I actually think in my accent. Mm. And then I thought, does Stephen Hawking, does he, when he's doing his maths and that, mm. is he, I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. It's I British, think he's from uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford right. or something. So, so you think he might think in his... In, in his, his voice, in that, yeah. in that voice In his computerised voice. Just wondered. Had lunch inside uh, today it, due to yeah. shite weather. Sat next to an old fella. Old men's ears and noses carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. Oh, Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> day three, cloudy start to the day. I had pie and chips in a cafe. and a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Yeah, Changed my true. mind when I saw the... They yeah, true, true that. What do you guys think about that? I've, I think I've only gone on probably one 
or two all inclusives. Like, oh, the all inclusive is never really that good in Europe, in my opinion. Sold pie though. <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos, but we never saw his wife. <laughs> Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. What the f- <laughs> What? <laughs> it's the greatest holiday in the world! Lick his bollocks. <laughs> uh, That's the entertainment yeah. in that town. Went back to the hotel and had a sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like, you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. <laughs> He's done nothing so far. <laughs> no. He's done nothing. He's got a big hip. <laughs> Woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. What the? What? What? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Why does he write this down? Oh, God. Oh. There is a fat bloke from Bolton who is in the pool as I write this. Fat bloke. He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. Oh, just ew. felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. I just seen it get to the point where you're going. Breathed in. <laughs> yeah. Breathed out again. There was a big fat <laughs> fellow in the sea who kept his t shirt on. If you're big and fat, is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? I asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak. <laughs> but Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. <laughs> just let him wait in to see if he's going <laughs> to capsize. Oh, God. We go home today, so we got up early to get the last bit of cloud. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that like it wasn't... Uh, it, it's, it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that... If it was like that air, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> but because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we've got to sit in it. Put your coat on. <laughs> so are you going to continue to write this diary? Every no, single day. we got to sit in it. Put your coat on. Let's go. We have no choice. Oh. It's amazing. Keep this diary up. It's no, amazing. I, I, no, I will. I will keep it up because what I find as well is I think earlier on before I went away, I think I did learn something. Mm. And because I wrote it down. What did you learn? I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So. What was that? I just was thinking then, I forgot it now. But. <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all because I remembered. The end of it before I read it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking I don't. about. Harry from Canterbury wants to know whether any of us have ever had any cruel nicknames. Um, he claims that he's uh, quite tall and rather hirsute, and he says he's often called Lurch or Wolfy. Um, he's always thought that Carl looks a bit like Mr. Potato Head. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, wow. No, there's no potato that round. But um, I suppose you could fashion a potato to be that round. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could, if anyone can uh, carve a potato into the roundest head ever, <laughs> pop a couple of eyes on it. Make um, it look as much wow. like Carl as possible. Exactly. But yeah, did any nicknames? Did you ever have a nickname, uh, Rick? No, mine was boring. I didn't have any. It was just around the name, like Jerv or something like that. No, Jerv. I didn't have nicknames. I always wanted a nickname. Um, I just thought it was quite cool for some Crouch. reason. Particularly because gangsters always... I'll probably call him C Crouchy because he's very tall and do it does look like Peter Crouch a little bit. For anyone watching from the US, Canada, Australia, anywhere else at Europe and you don't watch football, Peter Crouch is a football player. Sick football player. I liked him when I was playing for Liverpool and Tottenham. And remember that goal scored for them to get into the Champions League. If you do, let me know below. Thank you. Seem to have nicknames. Lefty. You know, fingers. Yeah. Lefty, yeah. Uh, fingers. Scarface. Yeah, and so I I decided that I thought because no one was giving me a nickname at school, it was kind of annoying, or well, certainly not to my face. Yeah. That I decided to just come up with one, yeah. and so I went. I remember I was at lunch once, and I just said to my mate Phil, "How old were you? Uh, twelve, thirteen. Brilliant. I just said to him, uh, Phil, um, don't know if you know, mate, but um, people aren't calling me Steve anymore. Everyone's you me Steve anymore. Everyone's calling me Spud now." <laughs> Now, I don't know why Spud, I thought you know. Spud. It's weird we should talk about Mr. Potato. I don't know why I thought Spud was a was a cool nickname. I just thought, I think it's, it's a grown up it, name, though, isn't it? And it's also because I think it sounded That's like a, it was probably either something that you'd find in one of those kids' books, like The Famous Five or like The Bash Street Kids. There'd be Spud. And I always imagine with Spud, he's not the leader of the gang, but he's a reliable member. I think you know Spud I mean? is the biggest lorry driver Spud. in one yeah. particular sort of uh, car park. Yeah. Here we come, Spud. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. And he gets out, all right, boys. And he's big and massive, and it Spud can eat two breakfasts. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I just, in my mind, it was, yeah, that I would be one day part of a gang. Right, Spud. I'm Pinky, this is Joe Joe, and the tall guy Spud. <laughs> and you know, catch on, never really it? caught. And he just went, oh, yeah, right. And no one started. And I was hoping he'd go, you know, the North Pauline's I also like the fact that Carl keeps quiet. But when he speaks, he speaks facts. Not facts, he says something really funny. He's not the guy, kind of guy to be like, you know, talking over people. But when he talks, people like that, I respect people like that. You don't have to say something every single time. But when you do say something, make sure it's meaningful. Okay? Steve Spud. Yeah. But of course... Hey, Spud. The first time I said Spud, you go, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd be really proud, wouldn't you? No. <laughs> hey, Spud. Did you have a nickname? Um, not, not really. I mean, there was a lot of people on the estate that I grew up on. You know, nicknames are, are big things on estates and that. Yeah. Um, a lot of my dad's mates, right? What what their nicknames did was tell you about them. Do you know how I said about the Elephant Man's a good name? Yeah. Because, like, you know what you're going to get. If someone said, Elephant Man's popping around in a bit, it wouldn't <laughs> be a shock when he walked in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so it, was, it worked in that sort of, uh, sort of thing, you know. So there was, uh, there was John the Screw, right? John the Screw? Yeah. Whether he had sex a lot or he worked in a prison? No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you had him, right? right? There was uh, <laughs> there was Fred the Bench. Yeah. Which is, I, yeah. I assume it's because he was at the same IQ as you. Yeah. Or, or, or he was in a coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fred the Bench. Right. There was, there, was, uh, there was my uncle, Tattoo Stan. Oh, right. right. Yeah. He had, he had like loads of tattoos that he'd oh, just yeah. done himself. Oh my right. God! The the problem was because he did his tattoos himself. <laughs> the ones on his left oh arm were really good because <laughs> he was right-handed. On his right arm, rubbish. <laughs> um, so so there was him. Oh, great. And there was um, Jimmy the Hat. Jimmy the Hat. Yeah. Did and he that, always wear a hat? No, he didn't. That that's that was the point there. That he, he never wore a hat. That's amazing. Brilliant. What? How can you pick up on someone never wearing a hat? hat? How would you ever Jimmy notice? I'll tell you what, I've noticed something about Jimmy. What? Go on. He doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> why, why was he not called Jimmy the Parrot? Because he, he never carries a parrot. <laughs> no, well, that's just the way, I mean, that's how they work, isn't it? I mean, here, that, that, here comes Jimmy Three Legs. Why'd you call him that? He hasn't got three legs. <laughs> I didn't really have one apart from, um, like, I had a CB. You know, like when you'd go on a CB radio and have a chat to people. Oh, this was a craze. In What's the, uh, was it late 70s, early 80s? Early 80s. And uh, it was just short band radio, wasn't it? Everyone had these little handsets and they'd speak to each other in the sort of local area. Yeah, it was mainly, oh. I think it started off with like lorry drivers, isn't it? Yeah, truckers, yeah, because there was that, that thing from like about 1970. Convoy. Was, convoy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I had one of them and the handle, I had, I had two handle different Handle means your nickname, your yeah, name. Yeah, there's loads of code, code stuff. Yeah. Um, I had I had a couple. I had um, there was Pilky O one because, right. like I say, there's a lot of Pilkingtons and that in Manchester. So if someone wants Pilky O two, it's open. You know what I mean? <laughs> have it. And then um, <laughs> that, is, that is people scrabbling. For, oh, I want yeah. Pilky, Pilky O one. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, because I did boxing and that, well, you did it once. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, I had Boxer Boy. Because I thought that that's quite a good image as well. That's kind of like people going, oh, don't mess with him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he asks what your handle is, tell him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's a boxer boy in that. Yeah. So just add them too, and I used to just go on there and... Pointless. What is the point of this? Well, you, just, you just meet people, don't you? And you so, don't meet people. You say, what's your handle? You go, box boy, what's yours? Uh, uh, rubber duck. All right, cheers. No, but then, but then you'll say, like, then you go, oh, uh, what's your 20? What's that mean? That's, where are you? <laughs> well, why don't you say, <laughs> where 20? are you? Because just in case there's someone who's listening in who, who you know, you hear about this all the time, don't you? People listening, jotting stuff down. Oh, right. So just in case someone in the world doesn't know what handle means, they're, they're out of the loop. They're yeah. out of the loop. It's hardly the, it's not a difficult code to crack, is it, yeah. if you're trying to track someone? It's hardly the head of the mafia talking to each other because the FBI are on the wire. It's ridiculous. Like, I go, oh, you keep saying that, wash your handle, and they come back <laughs> with something else. I, I can't work out what's going on. No, it's like, it's like anything, isn't it? That's what codes... That's what, you know, that's what codes are all about, isn't it? You set them up and that. Go on, and tell me, tell me the code, then. Reveal it long last to the world, what yeah. these codes are. Right, so, yeah. what's your 20? Where oh, are you? This is better than the Enigma. Yeah. Right, now, here we go. Right. How many candles are you burning? 
does that mean how big's your car or something like that? Horsepower or something? See? Like? No, that's, that's how oh, old Oh, what you. time is it? No, how old are you? What, how old are you? Okay. Right. What? Um, how many candles are you burning, of course? Yeah. So what the, what's the answer come back? You go, uh... I'm 15. 14. Brilliant. <laughs> That code, <laughs> that code, there's no one going to work that out. I wish you'd have kept a diary of this, because this has been fascinating. <laughs> now and again, someone will come in and go, uh, side on, right? What's that mean? And that means, like, there's someone sat there listening into Ooh. this chat and going, this sounds interesting. Yeah, no, it sounds likely. Yeah. And they, they want to join in, so they sort of go, side on, you go, side on, bring it in, right? <laughs> and they go, all right. How many candles Ooh. are you burning? <laughs> yeah. Round What's your that, 20? That's a good round again. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Then. What's your 20? How many <laughs> yeah. candles are you burning? Oh. And, I mean, it seems to me that what you should have done is make made a note the first time so that when you then speak to them again, you don't need to ask them those Isn't questions. It? <laughs> Can I just confirm that you're burning 15? <laughs> it's that time again. Do the jingle. Oh, monkey, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Let's uh, go. I was gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a really good one. Okay, okay. go. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news, you... Yeah. Right, do you know, it's it's nearly time for the Winter Olympics again. Okay. Okay. Is it? Okay. okay. They sort of come round every four years. Is it this year, is it? Yeah. And uh, the, the the last one that happened... Four years ago, yeah. There was, a, there was a bit of an incident. Oh, no. Do you remember any winners that were monkeys? In any of the no, no, no. So, no. so it's anyway, it's not going to be that because it wouldn't be true. Go on. Yeah. So anyway, one one of the uh, popular events, um, bobsleigh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bobsleigh. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, it you know, it works. Well, you it's need like four men. Is it four men or five? Four men. It's four. Yeah. So it's definitely four men that you need, need on four a men. team. Is it and two and there's two team bobsleighs. But well. they're always men. Is that right, Rich? Don't <laughs> just clarify. With the winter Olympics, you can't have any animals taking part. No, and they and they're also well, no, because they, they wouldn't be allowed. And two, there's no way they could disguise it because not only would they see it straight away, right? But they have blood tests, <laughs> right? Okay, so, which would show up. So they definitely know if it was well, a, blood tests. Non it's impossible. It would be literally impossible to have anything other than a human <laughs> taking it's part going. in a bobsleigh team. Fine. Okay. So carry on. So yeah. anyway, the, the the country was doing really well in the qualifying stages. Oh, yeah. okay. But the problem was there was there was like two members mm. who okay. were getting all like the press and stuff. Oh right, yeah. Anyway, so this one member was getting fed up because the the other two were getting all the press and what have you. So he said, I I'm not happy with this. Yeah. I'm jacking it in. Oh. So they were like, You're joking, we've we've qualified, we're getting into like the main race and everything. Mm. You can't leave us now. And he said, Well you could do it all on your own before, you know, you, the way you were acting like you didn't yeah. need me. So yeah. I'm going. Mm. So the clock's ticking. It's getting close to the big race and everything. Of course it is, yeah. They're like, what, what are we going to do here? The substitute right? they took with them. What are they well, going to do? Have, yeah. yeah, they'll take the substitute, so get no, in No, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have any of them and that. What, it's, what? You know, a lot I, of injuries and stuff. Or just get a mate injuries to do it, just get a mate or a friend yeah, or, or the coach to do it, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of responsibility on these people and, mm. you know, you won't want to let your country down and that. And they're like, what are we going to do? Get a waiter or anyone Anyway, the time comes to the race. Seems to be three people on it. There appears to be three, okay, yeah. Um, they start <laughs> off, they're whizzing around the track faster than normal, they're, they're beating their old record. Right, amazing. Because the new fella they've got, a little bit smaller. Oh! <laughs> is, he in, is he in the bobsleigh or is he pushing? He's, he's, he's in it. it. That's in oh, right. Right. <laughs> he's wearing a uniform and a helmet though, we can't see what he looks on, like. He's got the kit on. Um, yeah. Nobody knows who he is, but the country's loving it. They're like, well, it looks like we're going to break all our records, you know. Break all our records. It's good that they found someone new. Yeah. I bet the other fella who left is he's sort of kicking himself, thinking, oh, I could have been part of this. <laughs> anyway. This wasn't that bloke that had very short legs and long arms, was it? Anyway, what happened is, they're whizzing round the track and what have you. Faster than ever, yeah. Faster than ever, and the press are like going, beating all records here. They mm. started taking photographs. <gasps> a lot of flashes from the cameras and stuff. Right, of course. Suddenly, the bobsleigh goes a bit sort of mental and whizzes off, off the track. Ambulance comes rushing over and stuff. The other two members are looking pretty nervous for some reason. Mm. Oh, what are they doing? They're saying, look, um, don't take the helmet off because, you know, you can do more damage to the... Oh, the well, don't tell the paramedics how to do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they know their job. Yeah, they know yeah, their yeah, job. Yeah. Please, so they were like, yeah. just, just, you know, and plus, you know, he doesn't... He, he came in at last minute to help us out. He doesn't want everyone to know who he is. He's, yeah. he's not after the limelight. Yeah. Like some of the members <laughs> we used to have. He just, yeah. he just was helping his country out. Yeah. Leave the helmet on. Anyway, they get him in the ambulance and stuff. The other two are looking a bit worried and what have you. They're oh. gutted, they lost the race. The little bloke, is the bloke not saying anything? Is he not? He's, he's in the ambulance now. Is he not saying anything though? Anyway, we reported that one of the ambulance drivers 
said that that on that on that sort of dreadful night when you know the country lost out on a medal mm-hmm. in the bobsleigh, he sort of reported that there was a monkey in the back of the ambulance. People of were course. like, oh, "Yeah, you're joking." I don't remember aren't you? this. I don't remember this. You, at all. Not, you, well, this is it. You see, because they sort of swept it under the carpet oh, a little bit. Right. They were like, "This Bullshit. is crazy talk." Bullshit. This. Bullshit. Bullshit. This is crazy yeah. talk. <laughs> Once talk. Absolute shit. Where this did you get this, this from? This is crazy talk, right? It is but, crazy talk, and it's from the mouth of Carl Pilkington. <laughs> and and but the but the weird thing is that backed it up. Weird thing. Well, following week, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's this week's monkey news. <laughs> so a chip in the neck brace. Oh god, that's quality. <laughs> oh, that's the monkey from the Olympics, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. What a legend. What an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Yo, I love doing this stuff. Support me on Patreon, support me on the channel memberships, even the Seymour. Comment down below any of the comedy you want to check out. I love the Ricky JV stuff, the Carl Pickens and stuff. I'm doing Max and Paddy, I'm doing Phoenix Knight. I love this kind of stuff, yeah. Just comment down below your favorite comedians and I'll try to react to it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.